Grade 7 Math number 10.2b, Make Inferences from Box and Whisker Plots. An inference is a conclusion that is reached on the basis of evidence and reasoning. After getting a random sample of a population, we can make inferences about the population. We can log our findings from a survey on a box and whisker plot. Then we can come to a logical conclusion that's based on unbiased information. The data from a box plot can be divided into quartiles. There's four equal parts. So if we have 12 boxes, 12 numbers, or 12 pieces of data, we can split them into groups of three, couldn't we? If we had 24, we could split them into groups of six, as long as we split them into groups of four, okay? So it'd be quartiles. So that's the lower quartile cutoff point. This is the median, and that's the upper quartile, okay? So Emma surveyed a random sample of students at her school and she asked how many pets they had. And these are the numbers that the kids gave her. Look at that, one kid had nine pets. Maybe it was a bunch of fish in a fish tank. She put the data in order from least to greatest, then found the least and greatest values, the median and the lower and upper quartiles. The lower and upper quartiles can be found by finding the medians of each half of the number line. So this is what it ends up looking like. See, the box and whisker plot is called that because you put a box around the important values and the lines coming out to the side for the least and the greatest look like whiskers. So, you plot a point for each of the values. So here's her values and she drew a box from the lower to upper quartile. Okay. And she drew a line through the median too. See it right here? And then she drew lines connecting the least to the greatest. So now it looks like a box with whiskers coming out of it. So the interquartile range is right here. It's right in around the median, okay? So because there's 12 numbers, she split it here, the lower quartile, in between this 1 and 2. The median is 2. That's the sixth digit that's right in the middle. And then the upper quartile got split between these two threes. And this is how it's done. If it's in between a 1 and a 2, you add the 1 and the 2 and then divide it by 2 because there's two numbers that you added. It's finding the average. I don't know if you remember from last year about finding the average, but if you want to find the average of 2, 3, and 4, let's say, these three numbers, you add them, that's 7, 8, 9, then you divide them by how many numbers you added. Those three numbers, 9 divided by 3 is 3, so the average would be 3, see? So when you have a 1 and a 2, you add the 1 and 2 and get 3, you divide that in half, and you get a 1.5. So the lower quartile is 1.5, see? So the dot got put on the 1.5 on the line, see? The median landed on a 2, so that's on the 2, and then the upper quartile was in between two threes. And I kind of got a little silly and added the two threes and divided it by 2, which gave me a 3, but it was just to prove a point that the upper quartile is on the 3. See? So that's a box and whisker plot. You break it into four parts, quartiles, then you draw a box around the important numbers. Now you notice out of all these 12 digits, I've only got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 points. I've got the least, the greatest, and where the lower quartile cutting line is, the upper quartile cutting line is, and the median. That's all. I don't have every single one of them with dots here, okay? So what inferences can be made from the data on this box plot, on this box plot, on this box and whisker plot? That someone has a lot of pets, but that most of the kids have about two or three pets, don't they? One and a half to three pets is kind of what's going on, right? So, a box plot, or box and whisker plot, will let us see the median value in the interquartile range where the dot plot from the last video wouldn't. So, we can right away see what the median is. All the important values are shown. See? The least, the greatest, where uh, 
the lower quartile starts, where the median is, where the upper quartile starts. It's all the important information. And the whiskers show us the least and greatest. So we can just look at this right away and say, well, someone has zero and someone has nine. So it lays it out nice and easy for the eyes to see. Okay? So we're going to talk about proportions next. I hope I made this clear enough. I know this can be confusing, like a lot of math. So we're going to move on to 10.2c and talk about proportions. See you there. Bye.